bare knuckle boxers, gangsters, drug dealers. I mean, you wouldn't want to stay around theirs, would you? Well, guess what? I got an invite. I'm moving in with some of the country's most dangerous men so we can find out how they sleep at night. And judging by this mob, there's going to be tears before bedtime. Mixed martial arts is one of the fastest growing sports in the world. Better known as cage fighting, it's kicking boxing's butt. In the States, it smashed all the records for pay-per-view TV, generating more than $200 million in one year alone. And in the UK, I'm seeing this phenomenon get bigger by the day. Cage fighters are becoming the new stars of the fight game, and I want to know what it's all about. So I'm heading up to Huddersfield, to spend a few days with two of the toughest in the country. I am the best man in the country. Not only do they share a love for a battle, they share a birthday. In fact, they were born only 22 minutes apart. They're twins, Dave and Ian Butlin. In a couple of weeks' time, they're off to Japan to compete in the World Cup of Mixed Martial Arts. Ian is the fighter and Dave is the coach. Dig deep, everything you've got. They are the driving force behind the first England team ever to compete in this competition. Of the 12 teams taking part, they are the underdogs. I want to find out what it takes to be the best in the country. And the only way to do this is to live their lives. I'm going to spend three days with them. I'm going to eat with them, I'm going to train with them. Keep it going. I'm going to be sleeping under the same roof. As well as being feared in the cage, they're notorious for their street battles. They've been arrested countless times. They've always been known as fighters. No one's going to fight me fist to fist and win. Me getting punched in the face is like you having a cup of tea. <laughs> I was just picking up bodies, dragging them out, while Ian and Dave were choking out people, elbowing people and still knocking people out. You don't fuck about them. And you don't want to fuck about with a pair of them when they're together. Will I discover what their lives are really like? Are they going to open up to me? Will there be any connection between us whatsoever? These are the things I have to think about. You know? Worst case scenario is if I piss them off. Wish me luck. They've asked me to meet them on the Yorkshire Moors. It seems like a strange place to meet. I've got to say I'm a little bit pissed off. I've been standing here for three quarters of an hour. Still no cage fighters. But I'm, I'm ready for them. I'm ready for them. <laughs> I ain't really, I'm freezing. Well, hold on, I think I can see a bit of movement. I don't know. Oh, no, one of them's got a gun. Oh, no, what's happening here? Perhaps I won't knock them out then. Perhaps I'll just have some stern words. Pleasure to meet you. Ian. Ian. Dev. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. I've got a shooter. I'm a bit worried here, son. <laughs> we're going to go kill some stuff. And then eat it later. That's what we do in the countryside. Let's go. They're taking me hunting. They like to kill things. I don't. This should be interesting. I don't like the countryside, especially as I'm not properly equipped for it. Fucking mud everywhere, shit everywhere, look. Fucking liberty, look. I'm feeling like a bit of a spare part. Whoa. And I'm getting left behind. I'm wondering if I'm going to find out anything about these two at all. So, boys, what is it you like about hunting? Just like the idea of it, is it growing up in the countryside? What is it? Hey? We, we started like going out catching rabbits with ferrets and stuff when we were younger. Yeah. And like the buzz of your first catch and kill. We'll sit and wait for hours, sat in the rain, 
Because, I mean, if you get that one kill, it's worth it. Should we make a move further up that way? Yeah. Are we off, yeah? Yeah. Strange way to do an interview. Because you're so focused on... on, you know, on shooting something. You know, they're so into it, they bang it, they love it. I can imagine them plotting up here, on it, you know, just empty. In the middle of nowhere. Can't wait for me, that's my worst nightmare. I think he's seen something again, here we go. He's seen a duck. Eventually, I managed to catch up with Ian. A slightly less scary looking one. Who's the better shot? Probably there. Probably there. If I'm honest, yeah. He's a lot more serious than you, isn't he? I yeah, I just, I just mess about. It's nice to keep you in check, is he? Yeah, that's it. All our lives has pretty much been over there. Straight down this way. Would you say uh, it was a better shot that I used to? Ian reckons he's in. That's what he said to me. I don't need to answer that. <laughs> After two hours, they hadn't killed anything and I hadn't found out much about them. But I had worked out that they have very different personalities. When well, they are near enough identical, but Dave, you know, he's very serious. Very rare you're going to get a smile out of him, whereas Ian's a total opposite. Ian's proper, uh, bubbly, uh, don't stop smiling. It's very, but the contrast between them, you know, it couldn't be more opposite. So it's intrigued me. They're dying to shoot something, oh bless them. I'm over the moon, they never are. I'm over the moon. Coming up, the boys reveal an interesting take on brotherly love. I've knocked them out before. And I get a taste of their training regime. Come on, keep it going, come on, keep working. But not for rabbit stew. Not nice when you've got a bit of rabbit coming out of your fucking nose. It's all right now. 